Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the OCZ Agility 4 SSD and uh, if you've seen a previous review of the, the Vertex 4 it is essentially using the same IndyLynx uh, controller that we've seen there it is a uh, compared to the previous generation which uses a Sandforce controller the new IndyLynx Infuse controller is actually using uh, I believe it is a Marvell hardware with a customized uh, OCZ firmware so Let's open this up. This is actually pre-opened already since uh, OCZ sent this to me uh, as a review sample. Uh, but it will come in retail stores like this. See that it is a clamshell packaging and there's not much on there except for the drive itself. It doesn't come with an adapter and uh, you can just open it up quickly here. And of course it is a standard form factor SSD. And let me just take out the documentation here. Let me check out what it says there for you. Inside you get, of course, the fold-out documentation and the sticker. See this one previously as well. Put that aside and take a look at the installation guide and warranty information. It comes in multiple languages and I believe this comes with a, a three-year limited warranty compared to the uh, five-year warranty on the Vertex 4. Now, the Agility 4, see here, uh, it is, this is the 256 gigabyte version. It comes from standard uh, 64 gigabyte at the lowest and up to the highest, which is 512 gigabyte. Now, of course, uh, the main difference is the use of asynchronous memory. Uh, uh, this is actually, since it is a, an engineering sample, they sent me, and it's already, pre uh, there's no screws in there, so I can just maybe remove it directly right here. Let me see here, without any tools. Let me just pry it open. There we go. And then I could show you what it looks like. I have the bottom part removed here. And then you can see there, right in the middle, there is a... Let me remove the thermal pad so you can see the Indolinx controller right there. Take a closer look. Of course, you also get the OCZ uh, market memory chips there, and uh, 26 gigabyte. But when you format it, it will be uh, I'm just calculating here 20 to 38 gigabytes in total. And of course, SATA, as mentioned, SATA 3, uh, 6 Gbps uh, bandwidth, and also standard form factor. So, what we have to do now is just plug it into our test system and uh, show you what the performance is like on our test bed and I'm going to compare it of course with the Vertex 4 unfortunately I don't have any Vertex 3's left uh, all my Sandforce uh, SSDs have actually died I have an old Pyro that I'm going to use now hopefully it survives the uh, test setup we got here before uh, I completely finish it so I can compare the numbers here and uh, also new thing we're doing is that we're going to introduce not just the zero benchmarks, the uh, clean benchmarks for this right out of the box. We're also going to do benchmarks with 50% uh, and 75% of the capacity. So as you can see what the performance degradation is like, if any, uh, or how much, uh, which is of course expected, uh, or for this SSD drive. Well, anyway, let's check out those benchmarks and I'll see you uh, at the end of this review. All right, there you have the benchmarks. Uh, so what does that tell us about the Agility 4 and its capabilities? Well, for one, 
uh, compared to the previous generation, uh, if you remember, if you look at old reviews, old benchmarks, the incompressible data versus compressible data that comes up whenever you talk about asynchronous versus synchronous band is obviously different now with the Agility 4. Agility 4 can handle, uh, even though it is using asynchronous NAND, it can handle those very well. Now the difference is, of course, uh, the performance still is behind the Vertex 4, which is understandable since Vertex 4 is around 35 at the lowest to about $50 more expensive than the Agility 4. And uh, the difference is, of course, the, um, the write speeds and read speeds are lower, but uh, the 4K performance is very good, and I, the sequential read and write, they're, they're not bad, and uh, they're kind of in between uh, if you want to upgrade from a previous generation uh, to the, uh, between a Vertex 4. So it's still a very good advantage. At the price right now, the lowest I saw this one, it just increased again. It was just very low about uh, right before Christmas break and right before the uh, beginning of the year. It was around 160 but the lowest I can find right now is well, around 179 at NCIX US store. It's actually cheaper here in Canada. Uh, we, we can get it for 169 compared to, I checked Amazon, I checked Newegg, all the prices are around $200 for the Agility 4, while the Vertex 4 is around 259 right now, 260 So uh, as uh, I, saw, I mentioned, if you read the article in the conclusion, I mentioned uh, that the uh, prices for NAND memory is very volatile and keeps on changing every day so you have to check uh, whenever you decide to buy an SD check daily uh, you have to check the prices daily it's kind of like uh, gas you have to check the prices uh, daily to make sure that uh, whenever you're buying you're getting the most value out of your money and of course performance is still excellent uh, the good thing about it is that now uh, users who are concerned about using it using an, an asynchronous NAND SSD for something like a video uh, or a photo manipulation, large files like that. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any re really huge real-world impact with Agility 4 compared to Agility 3 and those Sandforce based drives and uh, practically Sandforce, Sandforce based SSDs have kind of left a bad taste in most users mouth and there has been a lot of issues with the firmware of those so I, I'm guessing a lot of people are kind of going to jump into the newer generation drive, especially something like the Agility 4 to see here. So that's pretty much it. I am going to give this a gold award just because of the it has a unique uh, controller and the controller is not using the Sandforce anymore. Also the performance is not bad considering the price. You have to factor in the price all the time and uh, since uh, right for $179 at uh, again NCIX store it will probably drop down uh, coming soon later on uh, depending on uh, where you're located that is still a very good deal uh, for something that is just right below the, the speeds of Vertex 4 with a few hiccups of course the uh, there are uh, speed penalties with once you loaded it past 50% beyond 50% 75% that the sequential read and write speeds have uh, kind of lowered considerably but the 4k again the 4k performance is very good Again, uh, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and uh, thanks for watching this review. You can read the full review down below. It's much more detailed. You can hit, read the full benchmarks there. And uh, also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates of reviews at youtube.com slash hightechlegion. And leave questions or comments uh, on our forums or on YouTube or on Facebook at facebook.com slash reviews. Again, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.